Okay, I've just been given uh, f uh, five to ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, um, without wasting time, um, I don't have slides because I was just given this uh, the last minute to just uh, make a comment on. Let me try, first of all, to contextualize um, uh, the M-Pesa, uh, or what we call the mobile money. M-Pesa, which means the mobile money. Um, mobile money, or M-Pesa, came into effect in March 2007. And within this time uh, is when Kenya was uh, trying to finalize his uh, Vision 2030, or the long-term uh, 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 development plan. And by the time uh, M-Pesa was thriving, that is, uh, you know, in the period of 2008 uh, up to now, is the same time that we had uh, the financial crisis. Um, and for Kenya, even with this financial innovation, I think we went on uh, to move smoothly. In the context of Vision 2030, uh, there are various key uh, objectives that have been set, and one uh, I'm raising this so that you can you can see where M-Pesa is filling the gap uh, that, uh, that, that, that that have been mentioned. One was to enhance uh, financial inclusion, and more importantly, at the foundation of M-Pesa was the issue of uh, also poverty reduction uh, uh, element. And in in saying that you want to enhance financial inclusion, it's not saying that uh, the platform of of M-Pesa is the one that is actually uh, bringing in financial inclusion but it's saying that it's providing a platform for uh, enhancing financial inclusion in, uh, in the sense that it's just a means to an end. Uh, it's not a means to an end on itself, but it's a facilitating uh, achieving that uh, objective. Two is to say that uh, Vision 2030 aims to increase um, uh, mobilization of deposits to about 80% uh, by 2030, and at the same time uh, to enhance the channels of savings to investment uh, by about 30%. And at the end of the day, also financial uh, stability. So when you look at M-Pesa and you think about it is uh, is like a mobile network operation, uh, you find that it works with the other uh, banking institutions, banks uh, especially, and more so um, with working with the, these banking institutions, what we find that uh, it's able to uh, provide the users yeah, uh, to uh, get or to complete some basic banking uh, transactions. Say, for example, opening an account. Uh, what we've seen is that there are all these uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, requirements that are needed, but now you can you can open a bank account uh, with, the, with with your uh, mobile phone. And the thing is that what is inbuilt in it is that uh, in recent period uh, you have to kind of go through a vetting process uh, for you to register your SIM card and the like. So it's also facilitating the fact that you are doing due dil diligence to the customers. Transferring money from uh, uh, money transfers even between your bank account and M-Pesa account, which means that you don't need to go queuing uh, in the bank so that you can get money uh, and make your payments. Uh, but at the same time, there is a very new uh, element uh, with M-Pesa, and that is that you can borrow from as retro as, uh, I think, 100 uh, to as much as, as you want to, to borrow. But more importantly is uh, to say that um, um, when we think about the mobile money and there are all arguments, uh, you know, whether um, uh, uh, there are risks to having the mobile money is to say that mobile money is equated to some cash which is deposited uh, with banks uh, in the sense that these mobile providers, they work with uh, uh, various agents who take the deposit at whatever point, and this is what facilitates uh, uh, to make up the mobile uh, money units. Uh, thinking about the population density and what has been brought out, uh, Safaricom has uh, kind of um, uh, about about 17 million or above subscribers. And out of this, uh, we find that uh, 15 million or more uh, have M-Pesa accounts, which means that we have quite a wide coverage in terms of usage of uh, M-Pesa. And also to say that uh, we have evolved from being um, uh, a money transfer, because that's how it started, uh, to being a payment platform. And as a payment platform, uh, it means that uh, uh, you can you can use it to pay for your utilities, 
Uh, you don't have to go queuing to pay for electricity. You don't have to go queuing for your uh, cable, uh, TV, or water. And this has reduced the cost. In fact, the, one of the things we were told by one of the banks is that this could have reduced the cost by about three dollars uh, uh, per, per transaction, which can be used by the households for uh, doing other things. Um, if you look at the period when uh, M-Pesa has been uh, uh, in place, and I'm not going to attribute uh, all the achievements to the M-Pesa, you'll find that uh, uh, in terms of financial inclusion, actually we have achieved quite a lot. Uh, access to formal financial services has increased from about 18.6% in 2006, when the first fin access uh, uh, survey was done to 226 in 2009, again, the second time of fin access, and now to about 35% with the recent uh, 2013 uh, fin access. But looking at it from the exclusion point of view, uh, we find that uh, at the moment we have an exclusion uh, of about 25%, which means that taking care of both the formal and informal, uh, we have increased the uh, uh, financial access by, uh, to about 75%. Uh, uh, percent. Now, are we having issues in terms of uh, maybe impact on, on financial stability and are we regulating uh, this mobile service? Um, the arguments that, well, this is just taking about 0.2% of the total deposits and so it is not as vulnerable to uh, the banking institution uh, as one may think. But after 2008, when banks raised issues and said, oh no, the, 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 the platform may have its own risk and the, 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 that was not found to be the case, we've seen several uh, attempts to ensure that uh, there is no risk as far as financial stability is concerned. And one of the things we find is like a self-regulation. Uh, Safaricom has a, a, a well-inbuilt uh, surveillance mechanism to deal with the uh, anti-money laundering and uh, terrorist financing uh, kind of activities, which it trains its agents and also its staff on how to, to manage. And you, you find that there are all these uh, kind of um, um, uh, restrictions that are given as far as sizes of transactions and uh, uh, the number of times that you are going to select in a day is concerned. At the same time, uh, Safaricom also has a practice of a uh, know your customer uh, element, which it, again, it, it gives a, a training to its agents and again uh, to staff. And this in itself uh, uh, kind of uh, protects it from uh, getting into uh, issues of uh, 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 being misused a, a, as a process. But in addition, in recent period, you find that Central Bank has come up with um, uh, regulations and guidelines. Uh, you, we have the e-payments guidelines of 2011, and we also have the retail electronic transfer guidelines of 2011. And these are inbuilt in the, in the National uh, Payment System Act of 2011. And within it, um, uh, or, or rather with this, uh, regulations were brought in the regulatory framework was brought in in 2013. And this in itself is uh, uh, supposed to ensure that uh, it brings uh, issues of payment system, issues of payments to one regulator, and that is uh, uh, the central bank. Of course, um, one element with uh, uh, the micro loans is, uh, is this increasing the level of NPLs and uh, a comment from the banking institutions, especially those which are operating with, in collaboration with the M-Pesa is, yes, we may have, uh, we, are, we are on a learning curve, and initially there could be a slight increase in NPLs, but the argument is that uh, you need to give time to, because you are including those people who have been excluded, so they have to learn through the curve and understand how uh, to manage their loan accounts. But at the same time, they want to revisit the credit bureau uh, uh, regulations to ensure that uh, uh, you don't scare out uh, this uh, new team that has entered into the into the banking uh, uh, system.